Hello and welcome back to another uh, video here from MBMRC. Uh, this is a new kind of a segment we're doing, uh, Three Minute Thursdays, and it's just going to be kind of tips and tricks, little uh, stupid stuff that we've picked up throughout the hobby. Uh, today I'm going to be talking a little bit about uh, antenna diversity with uh, receivers and a little trick for mounting them. So uh, bear with me on this and we will... All right, so basically... Um, anymore they make receivers that are monopoled which would be kind of similar to this uh, Futaba R3106GF it only has one antenna on it uh, so it, it does not have diversity now however this spectrum and I believe that this would have been an uh, AR636A uh, we don't fly spectrum anymore I believe that this this uh, receiver right here actually caused a wreck. It looks like it obviously did. So uh, this will be the one that we're using our demonstration today. Uh, whenever you go to mount these, uh, let's consider this to be like the side of the inside of one of your planes or this, this sheet of balsa. Um, you wanna make sure that these antennas, if there's two antennas, you wanna make sure that they remain as straight as possible and that they do not have any contact with one another. You want them at about a 90 degree angle from one another. So I will show you a little trick that I've learned on how to keep those straight and away from one another. So all you're going to need for this is a pair of snips or uh, side cutters, wire strip or some sort. Uh, I use fuel tubing and it seems to work the best and uh, believe it or not a hot glue gun. So what we're going to do is we're going to have our receiver mounted and we're going to cut off a piece of this fuel tubing about just like this. and you just slide it next to where you're gonna mount it. You find out where you want it. And you put just a dab of hot glue on there. Slide it on, hold it there for a few seconds. Now again, you know, this is gonna be on the inside of your, your plane. So you can do that. And then you're going to do the same thing with this. Like I said, you're going to go ahead, you're going to do the same thing with this one if you have to, because it's got this uh, heat shrink on it. I actually had to cut this, split it, and slide it back over the, the antenna. And that's not uh, a huge deal. It's not going to, you know, mess anything up if you need to do that. So you're going to just put some uh, hot glue on this piece now. We've moved this one around enough that it slid out, but once it's permanently mounted in your plane, it's not going to go any place. So like I said before, the key is to keep this as straight as possible and away from one another. So what you're gonna have is you're going to have a receiver that shouldn't have any issues with diversity antennas touching, nothing like that, no interference that way. Also, it's always a good practice to keep these away from, especially on a spectrum, anything from, keep them away from anything that's carbon fiber or anything that's uh, real conductive. So keep that in mind. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe and leave your comments below. Thanks a lot. See ya.